Hey, Dad, happy birthday. Yes, sir. Are you, are you excited to see your truck? I want to see it bad. <laughs> Looks pretty good. It's up getting aligned right now. You ain't seen it in person since it's all the way lowered yet. Well, so. I... You ain't seen the new wheels on it or nothing? Nope. Be good. Drive it. Yeah. Some nice shoes on there. <laughs> Ready for the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He has not seen the truck yet, so it's down getting aligned right now. He showed up a little early, so I told him, be patient. We'll go get it here shortly, but uh, I can't wait for him to see it. And it's on his birthday. What's better to get a truck delivered on your birthday? How old are you, Dad? 40? 42? 42. It's his 42nd birthday. I think it's 60. 64. 64. I think he's 64. All right, you ready to see this thing? We're ready to see it. All right, let's get out and look at this thing. We just had a line over here at Nichols. <laughs> what do you think about this thing? This is what I want. This looks, it looks so good, Dad. Looks great. One of the best looking body style trucks I've seen like this, and it's not even cleaned up. Nope, it's dark. Yeah. I, I left the side moldings on there because I thought that it kind of matched the wheels. No, but I kind of I, I, I thought about that yesterday. But uh, come back here. We got the I got the LSs off there, and then we debadged the back. It's got all the yeah the rubber the yeah, rubber stuff from the eraser wheel on there. But yeah, we just needs a good wash. Yeah, I think you could probably handle a wash. I handle that. <laughs> happy birthday yeah, to me. Yeah, happy birthday, Dad. Looks good. Oh, and then uh, got the. Got the speakers all in. You can kind of see them through there. there. Yeah. I don't even know what it sounds like. We'll have to get the key. Yeah. Turn the stereo on this thing. <laughs> Looks good though, Dad. Oh, yeah. Looks like it cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. What's up, guys? Welcome to Stain Killer Productions. Today, we are going to start on the 2024 GMC Sierra. We are swapping a regular cab and putting a short bed, short frame on it. Um, the only way you can get these trucks is to buy a V8. Well, the only way you can get a V8 regular cab truck in the United States, GM-wise, is to buy a regular cab long bed. Uh, four by four. So we are going to be swapping this four by four, 5.3 liter, 10 speed V8 GMC Sierra to a short bed, short frame. We have a frame that we got from a Mexico regular cab short bed V8 four by four uh, truck, which in Mexico you can get them in a short bed regular cab. Here you can't. So we found a VIN number for from a Mexico truck and ordered it through the dealer, got it. Also have to change the fuel tank and obviously the bed, which I found the bed here locally uh, from our local Savage Yard, which you saw in a previous video. Um, it is getting painted right now. So now's the mechanical part. We are gonna be swapping this thing over. This is the truck. We are gonna be doing a uh, LME 377, basically an LT4 base block in it. So it's gonna be a basically a big bigger than a 6.2 liter but around that same cubic inch size and then we're going to be taking all this stuff out and there'll be a turbo most likely sitting right here uh cam over here is going to be a custom fab and a turbo kit for this thing we're going to leave the 10 speed in it we do have a 10l 90 e transmission that we're going to be swapping out for this 10l 80 e transmissions in it the 10l 90 will hold up to a little bit more power we have all the bumpers, mirrors, door handles, and all that stuff getting paint matched right now, so it's all gonna be nice. We have a lowering kit coming for it. As low as we can go, I believe it's a 3.5 drop. We have some 22 inch wheels coming. This truck's gonna look killer. It's gonna run good. We're gonna do some interior stuff in it to spice it up. All you can get these in is like a work truck configuration. It does have bucket seats in it, but we got vinyl floors, you know, vinyl steering wheel, pretty bare to the bones truck power windows power lock so so we got that going uh, Steve is going to start disassembling this thing today we'll get the bed off 
and basically we got to start swapping all the frame and all that good stuff off this however I, if you saw the frame in the background this is for a uh, obs build that we were doing this is not the frame that's going on the truck the frame that's going on the truck is outside right now but uh, we, we are gonna start disassembling all this stuff pretty cool project coming your way first of its kind turbo regular cab four-wheel drive uh brand new 2023 24 this is a gmc the chevys as you know they switched uh body styles a little bit uh in 2023 they went to a new interior new exterior all that good stuff so it's a pretty cool build but let's get started and we did get our engine from late model engine this is a short block and their vvt uh delete front billet cover it's a 381 displacement actually it's got some good parts in it Rate right at uh, 1,200 horsepower is what this thing will take, which is good. Um, Steve's got the truck up in the air right now. Gonna start working on getting everything off. Steve, look, they 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 don't have any of the the butterflies and stuff. And what is this stuff? Oh, they still do. These are like some weird mesh. It leaks past those slowly. That is crazy. But it has that valve right here. I don't know. Did you go down some dirt roads? I don't know. This thing is filthy under here. I remember. Or, uh, it was the, the gravel. The oh, gravel yeah. The probably trailer. from just picking up the bed. The, oh, that parking lot wow. was so nasty. Oh, well, it's all going to get replaced anyways, but still. Yeah. It's going to look a little different. Yeah. Also, I see our uh, Nemo projects taking shape over here. Cam's got a lot of the, the cage bars in. Still has a lot more to go, but at least you can see the, the design of the cage and all that cool stuff. So I'll show you guys right now. All right, here's the door bars. Got the funny car hoop starting. This is the start of it. Got the top of the cage getting done there which looks really good everything's tucked up super nice in this thing i mean from the side of the car all you can see is this this bar right here really you can't see anything else got the dash of course sitting there but this thing is looking really really good really happy with this okay we about got the cab ready to come off this frame steve what do you got so frames you said pretty much the cab's ready to come off yeah yeah i pretty what, much have everything disconnected what all do you have to disconnect up here uh the battery i got the battery box out grounds a couple plugs this can stay main plug on this side ac heater hoses all the power going to this fuse block got it out all this is going to stay on the frame the radiator sits on the frame okay and then on this side, another thick harness here, which was just two, pretty much this big plug. And this leg is what plugged into that. There's another one over here. So disconnect that. This stays with the truck. Four brake lines down here on the uh, distribution block down there. Or you could do them at the ABS you guys can you see him. It's right there. Yeah, right here. So you got three here and then one here for the left front. Just goes straight to it. And then... Uh, and the reason why we're doing that, you can leave them connected. You can disconnect it from inside the cab, but we have yeah. to cut the brake lines anyways to make them shorter. So we just went yeah. ahead and undid them. We're going to break it anyways because this is probably a pain to unbolt from inside. And it's going to stay anyways, so we'll leave that. Um, and it was just like one leg here for, I think this was a shutter plug. Um, that's pretty well it. There's two big grounds over there. I need to check this side to see if there's a ground. And then I just got to pull all the bolts out. That's pretty well it. All this will stay. One of the guys from GM says you can literally keep the whole front end together. That's cool. Yeah, you just unplug the shutters to, for the harness. No shutters aren't going back in. That's uh, got to be room yeah. for our intercooler. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take the bed off first so we don't scratch anything. And then I'm just trying to line it up on the lift to pick it up. There's a pinch weld on the cab. Cool. All right. We'll be plucking here soon. Yes, sir. 
And while Steve's been working on the frame, I've been over here playing around with some fuel system stuff. This is an Escalade V pump, factory pump I got from the dealership. It wasn't even that much money. Uh, we have it in here for an Escalade coming in for a Whipple. Uh, but this is the new tank for the short bed swap. This is a short bed tank. And the fuel pump out of the Escalade V, actually, the depth-wise is perfect. It goes in. It fits. We think the Escalade V pump, as long as the connectors are the same on the truck, will be able to go right in your 19-plus GM truck. Uh, so... We're hoping that works because that will give us a lot more fuel. The Escalade V pumps obviously have a lot more fuel capacity versus a stock, you know, 5.3 pump in here. So we are going to uh, test that out once we get the bed off. We'll know if the connectors are the same. And uh, we can call Air Motive. They can make us a whole new fuel hat and everything because currently no one makes anything for these new trucks, which we have, the, have another customer that needs a bigger fuel system as well. So we're going to see how that goes but if that works then we can have escalate v pumps for your trucks which will supply a lot more fuel than the factory in tank pump that feeds the di pump up here we are going to be running an lt4 high pressure pump lt4 injectors in this so we are going to have more fueling with the cam meth kit and everything else but we are going to be running this thing on the 85 so we want to make sure we have all the fuel system that we need in these trucks this is the last time we're going to see the truck is a long bit Next time it's together, it's going to be a short bit. It's pretty exciting. Okay, we got the bed off, and we are lifting the cab off right now. Got the flappers. You know what those are for, Dad? What's that? These. Oh, you did? Okay. I just seen it was just It's to release cabin pressure when your windows are up. You know how your ears pop sometimes when your windows go up on the highway? That lets the air escape out the back of the cab. I'm too much of OBSs and the old shit. Yeah. I don't know how this thing got so dirty, Dad. We've had OBSs in here <laughs> with cleaner frames. Uh, this well, thing's got 400 miles on it. You went down there and picked up that bed yeah. when we went down there that day. Yeah, it was pretty dirty. You don't have to take it? It's, on? it's 420, bro. No, uh-uh. <laughs> it's only right that the wow. cap is full. Right now. Give up. Whoa, stop. I think we have found a 10-file strength by now if there's anything else. How's it feel? We're clear, dude. Yeah, it looks like it's... We're good. Oh, okay. Are there even any tools up there? All of this for a 10 millimeter socket, huh? Dude, I dropped it and I can't find it. Dude, that's so wild. There's a snap on socket. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I see yeah. you're getting it now. Six months, 20% interest. He's still paying on it. A $150 socket. Dude. Pop and cabs. First try, all we, all we, Pop the cab. we almost had was the shipper cable. I'll take that. Not bad. There it is, people. We've got the frame and the body separated. So now the blower bolt's easy to get to. Yes. <laughs> if it was an Escalade. Yeah. Dude, this took like a lot of work for the first one. Yeah. All this for an LT4 swap, Steve. Great yeah. job. Seems like a well, Remember that guy said, you should just pull the cab off. He said it was an open checkbook, <laughs> so I figured I did the easiest way. Yeah. <laughs> That is a pretty heavy duty transfer case. Dude, these are. Uh, Look, it's my BFF. <laughs> it's meant to be. Yep, it is. Hopefully, that transfer case is my BFF when yeah. it makes a thousand more. Really <laughs> 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 All right, that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Uh, we're going to continue working on that GMC project, and then Nemo's cage is getting closer and closer to being finished. Hopefully, the 
solid rear end stuff shows up from uh, Skyview Race Cars next week, and we can get that all rolling right along. We got our fuel tank from Aeromotive came in today. We'll be getting that all in as well. Truck is definitely the most exciting project we got going on at the shop right now. So if you want to see all the other projects we're working on at the shop here at Killer Performance, make sure to follow our YouTube page, Killer Performance on YouTube. That is our shop YouTube page. It has all the other projects that we do on all the customer cars. So make sure you go and give that one a follow. We've been doing weekly, sometimes two times a week uploads on that Killer Performance YouTube channel. But that's it for now, guys. We'll see you later.